10 years ago, I came to Philadelphia for this great opportunity to serve as the minister of the Unitarian Society of Germantown. When I came, I didn't, know, I didn't have any family or friends in the Philadelphia area at all, and I was a little nervous. But I knew why I was coming here. I had researched you. <laughs> I, I had done my homework, studied up on who the Unitarian Society of Germantown was and who you thought you were. <laughs> I, I had made a few phone calls. And people I trusted told me, yeah, man, you have it right. That place is the real deal. That is an urban, exciting, impressive, multicultural, Unitarian Universalist congregation, and I could see you two together. So I was very excited, and as I mentioned, I was pretty nervous. <laughs> So if you're new or if you're around here and you get nervous coming around, this is something we have in common. We can talk about it. Maybe we can bond around that. And like many of you, from the time I got here, I received warm care and was empowered to love the world more than I had been able to do before I got here. And I'm so honored today to celebrate all the wonderful things we have done together in the past decade. I have experienced so many blessings being with and working with so many of you and countless others who are not in the room right now, including one person I want to mention right now, Linda Smith, my partner in leadership and worship for over four years, just handed the baton off. Thank you, Linda. And that's just one example of partnerships I have cherished so much from the board to the welcoming teams to the staff. We have cherished our heart-centered work, I think, to a great deal because we know why we are here. I want to talk to you just a little bit about that right now. Looking at these luminous stained glass windows, and the distinguished English wood paneling of our sanctuary. I often like to think back and, and wonder why did people dedicate so much of their lives to make this place a reality? Our USG foremothers and fathers built this church with a Christopher Wren steeple announcing liberal religion and a fellowship hall opening onto the green, facilitating community compassion. Folks built this place in order to provide those who would come after with that all too rare permission to lean over and say hello to a stranger without danger of being thought out of touch or weird. We are here because somehow this place empowers us not only to greet strangers, but also to make authentic connections and friendships which are next to impossible in many other settings. You can call the power of this place mysterious or miraculous, or you can call it just plain old good, but we know that we are here to partake in this contagious, creative goodness that is so abundant among us. It's tangible. There are clear reasons why our congregation sits right here at 6511 Lincoln Drive. This landing in the Wissahickon watershed matters to our hearts. Right outside of this door, in those windows, the precious, gentle Monashone Creek flows along rolling landscape. Today, these dynamics resonate with us more than ever. 
It's here that we now serve as stewards of sacred lands and running waters. And it's here that our souls are fed and taking communion with purple crocuses and yellow daffodils in the springtime and large winding trees reaching the sky, throwing off purple and orange in the fall. We know. We know why we're here. Many of us have guiding stories representing why we're here. Some of the stories go something like this. True story. Two months ago, our congregation learned that four homeless families in our community needed a place to stay. We worked fast and made room at our inn and hosted these families for two weeks. Very, I'm very grateful for everyone. Made meals, shared fellowship, stayed overnight in my office to help it all run well. And just as we were wrapping things up and getting ready to say goodbye, we learned that the next place the families were to stay is infected with toxic mold. They could not go. So, folks here made fast decisions. We, we, the, some of these things did cause inconveniences, but the homeless family stayed for another two weeks, which was a very good thing. And we know there's no better use for our physical plant or of our people power. And it's an example that we know why we're here. We know why we do this thing. We know we're here to dedicate babies, celebrating the miracle of each and every one of their lives, while also pledging ourselves anew to raising them as a village in a safe and loving environment for the development of all their little souls. And just as poignantly, we know our, we are here to help each other when we become feeble or prepare to die. And we are here for everything in between. We don't just bless babies, we bring up children and youth, working with them so that we can all be finding out what it really means to be people of open minds, helping hands, and loving hearts. And our kids teach the adults about that, and our elders mentor us. And it's powerful, and you don't get that in a lot of other places. We are here to support each other in loving who we will. And together, on the journey, we support one another as we encounter enthusiasms and disappointments of life as they may come. Many of us came here searching or hurting or yearning for something we did not possess at that time, but we believed in nonetheless. Or we prayed to find it even against our own odds making. And one of the keys to our overcoming those kinds of challenges involves our realization that the simple is often essential. For example, we know that we come here to break bread with each other, like we will today at our potluck lunch, which everybody is invited to. We know that we're here to break bread together like we will today and have those conversations and interactions which show us that nobody has to be left alone on their way in life. Nobody has to be left alone. And we are here because our conversations take us out of our intricately constructed and well-defended well defended fantasies that we are so unique. Many of us in some of the days of our living are going a little crazy and we come here to help one another normalize the noise in our brains. And we come here to have fun. If you're new, checking us out, you want to know what it's about, the, truly this place has fun. We laugh, we hug, we sing, we celebrate. Try to take ourselves not so seriously. 
And just like Alain de Bouton says in his book, Religion for Atheists, here, our fear of strangers recedes. Here, the poor eat with the rich and everybody else. Here, the bipolar eat with the balanced and everybody else. Workers with managers, scientists with artists, whites, blacks, Latinos, and Asian Americans, together, together, you can sing that word, here, we care for each other during hardships, simply because we are brothers and sisters of the same church family. And if you're a visitor, you're welcome into the circle of care. You're invited into the circle of compassion. Here, each and every one of us can uncover our hidden wholeness or our innate wisdom. Here we can get truer to being, closer to being our truest selves. As one strong body of people, we make the world a better place. For example, right now, by fighting against voter suppression, we have been, are, and will be in the coming weeks out there working to help everybody possible get the proper identification to be able to vote in November. Democracy is a core value of ours. We're going to go block to block, and we're going to try and overturn this immoral legislation. We are doing that. It's important. As a strong body of people, we make the world a better place, working for public education justice by painting hallways and cleaning playgrounds and making sure every student has the supplies he or she needs, but also by tutoring and mentoring one-on-one, -on -one, week after week, month after month, year after year, personal relationships with the with the principal and the students and the families. And we celebrate those students' victories. Here, we help one another to live as much as possible with no regrets. Want what you have. Be who you are. Do what you can. We are here so that each and every one of us can listen to our souls and live out what we hear. We're here to find our hearts. And people, you, you people, have helped me to find my heart more than I can say. I am so excited about the future. I love you, the people of this church, with all my heart. Blessings be. Amen.